that day. Off the gut. It'll be easy to drop it. Yeah. That means it's it's gonna kick like a mother. Yeah. Off the gut. It's gonna hold it tight. Troops, welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz, and this is Fortnite Save the World. And I've been really looking forward to this character. It's another copy of the Raider, but I do like the Raider, one of my favorites. And I kind of just wanted to showcase this one off for you a little bit. So if you look at the actual character herself, it looks absolutely fantastic. Love the motorcycle helmet, looks absolutely phenomenal. So we're definitely going to be running this one. Now, I've been very lucky that Bantalad, one of the subs that we've got, donated as a weapon. So if you check this out, if we go to Armory, go to Backpack, and we look at this. this this is the Tiger Jaw that we're going to be running with her. So it's an 82, so I've tried, to, I've tried to keep it the right level. We've got crit rating on there and crit damage. We've got magazine size on there as well. He's left the physical damage on there, which I think is a good move. And then he's got the snare combo on there as well. So for the Tiger Jaw, this is kind of what I'm working towards. This is kind of how I'm trying to make my Tiger Jaw, if not go for the headshot and damage, which I've not decided on just yet. So let's actually jump into a game and look at, you know, if this character's any good. Well, we know that the hero's great, but I want to test this Tiger Jaw out as well with her. It's kind of like a little bit of a, an added bonus to see just how we get on. So today for me is all about leveling guns up and stuff like that, which I'm going to be doing off camera, ready to show you guys some awesome guns in Twine. But for now, let's just test out this new Redline Raider in-game to see if she stacks up. Stay tuned. Okay, so first thing to know is that she looks absolutely great. So let's actually get these B dudes out first and see. Oh, look at that. That just works beautifully. The sound of the Tiger Jaw is so good as well. All right. Here you guys. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's take him. I hate how the, the lobber ones always try and like run away. There you go. Didn't even have to aim it. Okay. The reload speed's not as quick as mine was, but this is still pretty good. Where's that coming from? Nope. <laughs> All right. We're not farming. Do you know, this would just be like AC heaven right now. But okay. Let's actually get to the mission. Oh, we got a smasher. All right, we can kind of... Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> I was thinking we could tuck away in there. Right, let's pop war cry. Let's make this thing happen then. There we go. All right, I got no time for you guys. All right, here we go. Let's keep on him. All right, go, go, go. Wow, that is a nice weapon. So that took down the smasher pretty easy. Do you know what? After using uh, the... Blade Storm Enforcer earlier today. This is just so refreshing. Definitely, definitely needed this. Okay, last off then. Let's just take these off down here. Let's just take these out before we actually get to the bomb part of the mission. Then we'll focus on what we're actually doing here. Look at this. Nice. Nicely done. And you could even argue that the gun's slightly underpowered. I mean, you don't really use an 82 gun on 82 husks. But just look how powerful it is. To just inventory. totally works. What we like on ammo? 791, which for a shotgun is not even that bad. So we should be okay with that, I think. But I am a huge, huge fan. Time All right, here we go. Down, All right, give me Warcry back. <laughs> Warcry lasts a little bit longer as well because I've got first shot Rio in the other slot. So we've got five seconds longer on Warcry. I usually go for the extra grenades. So I usually put like double agent in there when I use this radar. But I just think the war cry just makes a big difference. All right, we probably need to take some of these out first then. Boom. Let's do that. Looks like we've erupted an encampment. So pop war cry look. And you want war cry up as much as what you can with this. Oh, we just... <laughs> All right, we've just done another encampment. Just stumbled upon one. Look at this. So, so good. Definitely my favorite shotgun. Get out the bees, Lasana. Come on now. There we go. Shield her down. Husky husk down. This honestly, after playing the <laughs> after playing the other guy earlier, the blade the uh, after playing the enforcer earlier, this just feels so much better. Okay, so here we go. So delivering the bomb. Honestly, this character, if you've not got a raider already, then this character is just so awesome. I mean, I'm not gonna pop war cry there because we're just gonna wade through him. Like a hot knife through butter. There you go. Grenade up. Look at that for a throw. Inch perfect. <laughs> so absolutely no difference to the Raider. And if you're a fan of the channel and you've been watching this for a while, I use the Raider quite often. You know, I'm a big fan of the Raider. I'll probably make this one my main just because she looks cool. 
Not my main character, not my main hero. My main raider hero for when I use them. My main hero is always going to be first shot Rio, right? <laughs> Alright, concentrate, Latana, concentrate. <laughs> one of my main things in videos that I get is, do you know, when I'm playing, like, on my own, you kind of find that... You're kind of focused, you don't look away or anything like that, you're kind of just on the screen all the time. But when you're recording, you know, you're looking at either the camera or, you know, you're looking at different keys and things like that. Which is just odd, I don't know why recording does that to you. I'm just so easily distracted. <laughs> Alright, so we got some more unfriendlies. Reload. So the reload does take a little while, I'm not used to that, I'm definitely not used to that. I'm used to like super fast reloads now. Like, if you look at the, the Spectre, for example. Look, that's the kind of reload speed I'm used to. <laughs> so, you know, but that's good. Okay, so this is it then. Alright. Do you know what? Just, just, she's got, like, everything. Like, the Raider class is such a good class. And this is kind of what I wanted the... You know, I kind of wanted the Bladestorm to be a bit like that. Do you know, be a little bit different. Kind of be its own, its own kind of thing. Wow, all right, that is like, that is like Blaster City right there. All right, Pop Warcry. And right, let's just move in. Take them all down. You can all go. Who's left? You! <laughs> Why won't you die? All right, excellent. Let's put the turret up. All right, can hear a smasher for sure. There he is, I got him. Can't do anything to stop him because I just haven't got any skills that would stop him. Whoa, it just went through the wall. Did he go through the wall? No, I think he's dead. I'm hoping he melted. More blasters. Love it. Look at this. Well, this isn't good. <laughs> I'm trying to tell everyone how great she is. And we've just got insane blaster waves right now. Right, I've got 10 seconds on Warcry, which I really, really need. Oh, not cool. All right, reload, reload. Jesus, come on. All right, Warcry's pop now. Slow reload speed. But the power when it gets going is kind of worth the wait. All right, gone. All right, we are somehow still alive. How's the bomb looking? All right, it's good. We've kept it over 50%. That's what we need, right? Oh, looks like we've got issues around the other side. There we go. Husky Husk down. God, they're just coming from like all angles at the minute. Kind of the point, though, I guess, of the game. But I do like it when it's like this. I do prefer it when it's a little bit tougher. As you guys know, I usually compare the tougher ones to like Dark Souls. Come on, 14 seconds. No! Not ready! See now I've got a really good like fire shotgun, but it just wouldn't do the it just wouldn't do the job here. Right, one second on Warcry. Let's take it. Wow, we're not halfway down already. This is bad. How long have we got? A minute twenty-six. Jeez, that's gonna be tough. Luckily, we've got Jess there as well. Taking big hits from this side. What's that from? Oh, no, 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 guys. No, no, no. All right, let's get our energy back up. Nope. <laughs> if in doubt, just stick a wall there, right? Yeah, I'm coming for you. Don't you worry. I got you. All right, let's, put the, uh, let's get the extra help. All right, I'm kind of doing this to kind of just keep them off the walls. Walk right up in 20 seconds. Just trying to keep this smasher busy if we can. If I can run in, stop reloading. I can kind of, I may be able to stop his charge with shockwave. There you go. Put a grenade in as well. It might knock him back. Go down. Yes. How long we got? How long we got? How long we got? 28 seconds. Come on. Pop more cry. Just because we're awesome like this. Didn't pop. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Why? 15 seconds. Get me up. Let me at him. Oh, come on. Reload, reload. All right. Blaster right behind me, right there. All right. Come on. We got this. 
Oh, I love it. Do you know what? All right, we didn't keep the base over 50%, but they're so fun when missions are like that. I love it when they're that close. All right, but the Raiders, you know, like a really tough cookie. You can kind of hold their own. Things got really crazy just then. We had blasters coming in. We had smashes charging at the walls. And it was still, you know, we only had one death. Which, if that was the ninja, then we would have had problems there. What did we get? Oh, we got the top combat score as well. So you can't grumble. You know, pretty good. Uh, I think the Tiger Jaw massively helped there. So I can't wait. Massive thanks to Bantalad for actually donating that weapon to me. So that I could show it off in the video. So let's go and have a look at what we've got. And have a quick rundown of skills. And then we'll call it from there. Okay, so we had a really good team in there. We've got level 5 loot rewards then. So let's have a look what these are. Tons of schematic XP. God, I love Twine Peaks. Uh, we've got some gold as well. And we also got pure drops of rain. Desperately need them for my survivors right now. Do you know what? And to do weapons and all sorts. Uh, we've got a road trip llama. Come on, let's just open it. We're here now. I am just not holding out. Much hope for these llamas anymore. I can't even remember the last legendary I got in these. Probably about a week ago or something like that. And I open them all the time. I'm just getting... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, RNG. Just thanks for that one. That's That's just... That's just dandy. Okay, really quick rundown of skills then, because you guys have seen this before on my other videos. So we've got advanced tactics, which all soldiers get. Shockwave, which is great. Debilitating shots, which is fantastic. Shell shots, awesome, because you get increased shotgun damage by 24%. Survivalist, I think, definitely helps us out there. So killing an enemy with an ability or weapon recovers five base health per second over three seconds. Uh, you got frag grenades. Now, sometimes I use the double agent for this hero, and this particular one, I decided to use a first shot reel for the extended war cry on there. Perfect engineering, so applies three stacks of debilitating shots to all enemies hit by shockwave. I love to reload, so reloading the equipped weapon uh, increases the run speed by 30% for three seconds. Kind of helps out, I guess. Uh, increased shotgun critical hit damage by 70%, which is probably what gave us the combat score. Warcry, love Warcry. And then these two, Kneecapper is fantastic. It's one that you get on the Urban Assault as well. Increases the effectiveness of debilitating shot vulnerability by 9%, so it's great for taking out or softening at least waves. And then Flak Best, reduced damage taken by 60%, which is why, you know, this character is such a tough little cookie. But guys, of the two heroes that have come out, by far this one is the best. Um, do you know, the other one's okay. Do you know, the, in, the Blade, uh, Blade Storm Enforcer, is it? Blade Storm Enforcer's all right, but definitely, definitely, if you have the choice between the two and you don't know which one to get, and you've not got a Raider already, because if you've got a Raider already, you don't need this one, but she just looks cool, so it's down to you. But guys, massive, massive thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the two characters today. So what do you think of the Enforcer, and what do you think of the Raider as well? I would love to know in the comments down below. So a huge, huge thanks for watching, guys. Again, and I know I say this on most of my videos, but a massive thanks for all the support we're getting so far. It's just been absolutely crazy, and I can't thank you guys enough. So huge thanks for that, and I will catch you tomorrow on the next video. Stay tuned.